Hey everybody, it's Doug here. Doug Mr. Cowboard Game Geek. Doug Herring on YouTube getting ready to play the next episode of our playthrough of This War of Mine. Where uh, I am learning to play this game uh, as recommended by the, the designers and the way the game book flows that, is that you don't need to read the rules, you just start playing. And that's kind of what we did. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, it's proving to be very interesting and very challenging. Now I made a, uh, I did make a couple of uh, errors error, error, um, and I'm going to get a couple things back as a result of it. So, I had to leave behind these things, because I thought that, well, I thought I had to leave behind, because I thought they counted towards your weight limit, but they don't, so I'm taking them back. I am, I'm taking them back. We need them. We need them. Okay, um, and so that's, I uh, just wanted to make that quick correction. However, we don't have any food or anything, and I'm kind of, well, not kind of, I'm extremely concerned about that. We've got to try and get some food and water before... Uh, the day ends, and we all have uh, a, cu a couple of the characters are really low on actions and things of that nature. Um, yeah, so the other thing I want to talk about before we get going is when you uh, add locations, see it says close, distant, and far. I, when it said add to near, I thought it meant add to near, it, or in other words, close, but it didn't. It just means shift them down. So that way they, they get better. The, the, I don't know why our, our, I guess our house is on legs and stilts or something and moves around so the ruined villa uh, actually gets closer to us. I, <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe we just figure out the route to get there. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's how that goes. So I just wanted to, to make that point uh, as we get playing. And all, so again, so two things. One is when items don't have a weight, you can carry them all. Uh, and then the very last thing to talk about was, it's not a correction, it's just a, a comment. I cleared this rubble right here, and if you look over just to this area, there's these bars. And someone asked, didn't you have to cut through the bars to get to here? But no, see, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but there's a ladder. This is open. So you can come through here and go down this way. What I can't get to is this furniture, because I have to come down to these bars. So I'm assuming that furniture card has some pretty good value. Most of them do. But there's also this heap that I'm going to definitely pick up this turn and some other stuff. So hopefully, hopefully we're going to get some things done. All right. Well, that's really it. So we're going to get on with our, our morning phase and uh, get the game started. And I'm going to drag you along because I want to do one more thing before we actually pull that event card for our morning phase. So a couple of uh, a play, a couple of playthroughs ago, I did a playthrough of a game called Renegade by uh, Ricky Royal, uh, Richard Wilkins on the box. But... We know him as Ricky Royal because he does a lot of the same types of video work that I do. And I want to let you know that his Kickstarter is going on right now. And up in the corner somewhere here or here, I'm not sure which, it will be on screen. I'm going to put a little link to that so you can go to his Kickstarter page as well as my playthrough of the game. Uh, there's also a whole bunch of other playthroughs coming out now because uh, it's a great game and people are jumping on it to do play playthrough previews before the Kickstarter goes. So highly recommend it. It's a really neat game. It's very puzzling and fun. And uh, uh, please go check out the my videos on it. And it's not just because Ricky did it, uh, though I do admire Ricky and his, his ability to, to translate uh, rules into layman's terms and, and do a real good job at that. The game is really good. I'm also a fan of Victory Point games. They pick really good games to publish, and, and I always appreciate that. Okay, so let's get going. We got the event card right up here. Now, we still have one op out, and this is about to go away for us. So I'm going to take this one off the findings pile. We're going to draw our next event and see. Hopefully it's something good. Uh, it says, add three cold to the space. Wow, that's really rough, guys. Okay, it's freezing now. Absolutely freezing outside. Let me get uh, those cold markers. If I even have enough of them. Uh, I, I, yeah, I do. Just enough. So, basically, I have, there's only one more cold marker that can be placed. But here are the three cold markers. That means if we have a problem... Something tells us we have to deal with cold. It is really cold, bitterly cold outside right now. Okay, it says Army Deals. Place this card on the findings pile. If any card is already there, okay, we already did that. Uh, the value of cigarettes, moonshine, 100% alcohol, and jewelry is raised by five. So in the trade value, sorry, flick my cards. <laughs> uh, the, the trade value of these things is much greater. So I'm going to put that on top of the findings pile so we know that that is a thing that, ta that happens. And that basically is the entirety of our morning phase. Now, again, if you, uh, I'm, you know, being a solo player on this, I can't do what the, the game does. But normally what I would do now is pass the book to the next player to start the day actions. 
And again, every character gets three actions. However, some things block those actions. So for example, you see that uh, Pavel here has an illness blocking his third action. These two aren't blocking anything, so he gets two actions. Um, Boris, however, is very fatigued. He's only got one action available to him, and it's going to be to sleep. <laughs> so that's what he's going to do. Um, and then you see that um, Sveta has fatigue that's blocking one of her actions, so she's going to get two. And Amelia has several different uh, conditions, but still is going to get two actions for the turn. So everybody's going to get at least two actions except for Boris, but we know what Boris is going to do. Well, that is, we know what he's going to do after he takes his one action, right? So let's start with Boris, since we know that he you know, he's the green-based guy. And you look at his picture, it looks like him. It's, uh, it's really close. Um, no, wait, he, that's not Boris. Boris, this is Boris. You can tell by the miniature, carrying the big satchel. He's, he's the guy that carries a bunch of stuff. He's not going to be able to go out uh, uh, gallivanting out in the world in that night, this night, though, because he needs to rest. However, what we are going to do with him is he's going to come over here. He's going to climb over to bed and go to the ladder. He's going to come down the ladder where we cleared this rubble and move to search that heap pile. So um, I'm going to leave him there because it's easier for me to, to put everybody where their actions are than take them so I know that we did what we wanted to do with them this turn. So let's keep going. Next up, we're going to take, I think, Amelia. She's going to go to this rubble pile here. And where's our shovel? We need our shovel. We're going to dig with the shovel start to clear out that rubble that's there <laughs> with the shovel uh, okay and then we got uh, Pavel what's Pavel gonna do well we could you know what I'm, I'm starting to think that we mean need to make filters we could use one component and we do have components uh, to these are components or those are components right here to make a filter um, I, we might want to make two filters I'm thinking about that this is by the way the wood Show the workshops way up in the northern part of the house. So I think we'll take Pavel and we're going to put him up there to make some filters. So he is way over there. You can see him. Okay, I'll just move over just a teeny bit so we can get this going. Okay, next up we still have um, Sveta. What is Sveta going to do? Uh, she really can't, well, can't ro get, get through any rubble or anything without. Okay, guess what she's going to do is she is going to uh, <laughs> take a risk and step outside. She's going to go outside and see if she can find someone to visit with. Now, there's a danger there. There's a danger of actually getting shot and killed. So, But, however, it could make a visitor come to our door that gives us some great stuff. That's, in fact, how we got Pavel, our fourth character. So it could be very valuable to us. Plus, don't forget, I still have this carpenter that I can turn in. And we got the dog who's so far here right now, but he might leave today because I don't think I'm going to be able to feed him. We'll have to see. Hopefully a visitor comes with some food or we find some food in the heaps. we got turns left to go, though. So let's start taking them. we got all four of our characters out for actions. Let's start taking them. First up, I want to take. Uh, I want to get rid, uh, deal with Boris's one action and get the heap that he went through and see what we get. Okay, we're going to gain a weapons part. That's not too bad. Let's, let me find that. There is the weapons part. Uh, two wood, that's cool, because we were out of wood. Uh, one, two, three, four, five components, that is very good. I'm just going to dump this in the five storage space right there. And then we're going to also get sugar, um, and uh, yeah, some sugar. Okay, uh, pour some sugar, oh, I'm not going to go there. Uh, <laughs> all right, and here is some sugar, so that could give us some good trade value. It says add these to the storage and remove this card from the game. So we have searched that area and we have got these things in our storage. We've got quite a bit of stuff in our storage right now. As you can see, now I got these, the, another token for this up in the five spot because we have five uh, more components up there. So let us go to um, the uh, workshop right now. On our next turn, we are going to build this because we're going to be able to do that. We have one mechanical part still. Uh, oh, do we? Yes, we do. We've got one mechanical part in our storage. It's right here. And then we, we have all the other things. The five components we just got. We just got the two wood. And we have a, we're going to build a filter. So uh, I'm going to put that back on the pile right now. But uh, up here, I think just for the sake of... We only need to build one filter. So we're going to spend that. We're going to build a filter. Though um, I, it only takes me one action to build it, uh, as many as I can, I suppose. It doesn't say otherwise. It says... Um, so once we build, we can also board up. We don't have the stuff for that. So uh, making a filter is for each. We just spend one component. So maybe we'll just for the sake of argument, since we do have some spare parts left, we'll make two 
filters just so we know we have them. And you know, filters have some value too. So because um, they're manufactured items, and I imagine that they are more valuable to they, you know they're only one, but still. Okay, that is that. So that is going to be Pavel. He has done his thing. Then we're going to go to uh, the rubble. Amelia is digging away. She's going to go back. We're going to return the shovel, and then we'll flip this over. So we still have to do one more round of digging to get through that. And then last but not least, we're going to go to Sveta. Pulling a lot of ones on this die, but here's what happens. Uh, we roll a black die. If we roll a one, she gets shot and killed. We rolled a four. We did not. That's good. Or not shot and killed. She gets hit by a sniper for two wounds. Now we get to draw and resolve a visitor card. So let's get the visitor cards out. We're going to draw those. Hopefully this visitor is a nice, kind individual who will help us and do some good stuff. Maybe that, like the carpenter we met or something like that. But what do we get? Arrival. Okay. Um, a wounded stranger asks for shelter. If you decide to take this person in, draw a card from them, use character deck, and add them to your group. Place a level 2 wound on them. Well, we can't take more than four people. Um, if you decide to leave this person, you may buy any items this person is carrying, which is pistol and ammo. Um, see the uh, see journal trade sheet. Okay, so I don't think this person is going to be very helpful to us because... Well, we could buy the ammo, I suppose. we got things to trade with. And uh, I just don't know. So let me think about this for a moment. To be honest, the pistol value is, is 16. So while I could get the ammo, I have, a, I have two things of ammo already and shotgun shells, as well as the shotgun and a broken pistol and weapon parts. So there may be an opportunity for us to build that later. I think we're going to skip that. The visitor, we're just not going to do anything. We're going to send the visitor packing, unfortunately. So that is what it is. Okay, well, that definitely wasn't worth risking her life over. So now we're going to go back around. Remember, everybody but Boris has two turns or two actions this round. So here's what we're going to do for these actions. Okay, well, the first thing that we're going to do is have Amelia go build our rainwater collector. It's going to take a couple of things. I'm going to put that up next to the workshop. So we're going to have that up there. I'm going to take Amelia, put her there. She's going to do that. Uh, then we're going to have, I think... Um, We'll have uh, Sveta, she's going to go uh, finish digging through this rubble, though we won't get to the heap this turn. And then we're going to have um, um, Pavel, he's going to go down and poke about, is what he's going to do. So we're going to get the water thing built so we can actually try and get some water. I, though I don't really know, it says place a weight token here. When weight tokens are resolved, roll the black die and consult the table. But that, I don't know, this isn't going to help us. We don't have any food or water for the turn and so I'm trying to figure out how we get it. Um, poking about is not going to do it either. I guess we could try to uh, go back outside and see if there if we could trade. Now we're going to get to do that at night but unfortunately uh, we're going to have to uh, eat and drink before that happens and it's going to really hurt us guys. So I, I think I'm, I'm I mean I think I'm playing this game correctly but this is really bad. So Huh, um, huh, okay, well, here's, okay, I think what we're going to do, all right, we're going to, we're going to continue, because I don't really know any better way to do this, we're going to take, oh, Boris is done, it's Pavel, we're going to have ba Pavel poke, or poke about, we really, I don't really don't know what else to do with him, so, okay, let's start with uh, Amelia and the rainwater collector, so to build that, we have to expend our two wood that we have, we have to expend a mechanical part uh, and a filter. And this is a representation of our five components. And we have built the rainwater collector. So then it says uh, place a weight token on here. So we're going to do that oh, as an action. I don't think we get to do that now. So uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we're just out of luck, I guess. I don't know. When do we resolve weight tokens? Let me see. Maybe what I should do is have, have put them both on that action. Or what I probably should have done is have the rainwater collector built first, but I didn't have, I don't think I had the components to do it. Um, yeah, when do we resolve weight tokens? I can't really see when you do that. Um, hmm, it doesn't say that I can see. I'm sure there's a place where it says it. I'm going to have to look it up. But uh, anyway, I don't. We do have the rainwater collector now, and she's done with her turn. So we're going to go back, 
And then um, we're going to take the easy part and we're going to take uh, the shovel and dig it out, dig out the rubble. You would think with all the work that has to go into, into digging this stuff out, it would give us something, right? But it didn't. So we just get to remove that from the game. That is out of the game. And we have cleared this space now. So we still have this heap over here to go through, which would be nice if we could have done it this turn. And then we're going to... We're going to poke about and see if we can dig some stuff up here. A 10! Oh, man! Four wood or components. Well, we still have two components left. We have no wood left, so I think I'm going to take the four wood. Anyway, there's three. Too bad we can't gnaw on the wood. Um, and uh, four wood. It's also too bad that the herbs don't count as food, like we can't eat them as food. We really need to go to a place where there's going to be a lot of food. I guess the ruined villa it's got, supposedly has raw food. The warehouse has canned food. I just never got any. Um, and so we're going to really have a bad night. I can tell you that right now. Okay, that is the end of our actions. So now we're going to go to our dusk phase, which is a real problem for us because not one of our characters can drink any water. We don't have any. So, um, and I'm looking to see, it says each character must drink water, discard it from the storage, and then continue on to the evening phase. Okay, well... We're going to do that, and we're going to do our scavenging, choose our findings, and during the night phase, um, I don't think, oh, at, okay, dawn, I think, is when we actually, no, I'm trying to figure out, well, guys, help me out if you see it, when do we do the weight card, when do we put up a weight token, and then when do we do resolve them, I guess, well, we put them up as an action on the rainwater collector, but then, um, uh, we uh, don't know when we resolve those. Um, and it doesn't doesn't say readily. I'm going to have to look it up, uh, but okay. Anyway, let's keep going. All right, so we are now going to our dusk phase. No one got to drink any water. That's very bad. Let's start with Pavel here. He rolls an eight. Uh, that means his misery level is going up by one. That just blocked his last, his third action. That's not terrible. Uh, Boris, what's going to happen with him? Ten, so he gets a misery token now, which isn't so terrible for him yet either, but you, you know I'm stocking, stockpiling these... Uh, conditions up in a bad way. Okay, uh, Sveta does not have a uh, condition like that either. She's a four, so that means she's going to raise her hunger up to two, and then uh, Amelia, the, the conditions person, rolls a four, and that's going to raise her hunger, uh-oh, to three. So let me grab that. That is not good. Um, and if we if it goes up one more, you notice it didn't take any actions from her, but if it goes up one more, we're going to have a serious problem because I think she's going to die. Okay, then we could not eat any food. So, oh man, so what does that mean? Because here, let me show you something. Um, hunger, epilogue, see page 645. So she's going to go to four because we can't do anything about that. Um, Sveta's going to go to hunger level three. I mean, this is really screwy, man. I'm, I, I think I just had really bad luck trying to get some food. Uh, Boris is going to go to hunger level two, and um, and also uh, Pavel is going to go to hunger three right away. And he got there quick. Uh, everybody's quite hungry now. They still have plenty of actions, except for Boris, who's going to spend the night sleeping. But let's go see. We we just did this hunger epilogue six forty five because we could not prevent her from getting to hunger level four. And I'm going to guess that's really, really bad for us. Does this end our game already? I sure hope not. Okay. Uh, find a character on whose state has reached level 4. Okay, well, that's Amelia. Amelia is... Okay, we're going to move to uh, 1,010. 1,010. So maybe we just lose... Which sucks. We just lose the one character. And I could have picked one up the previous night. Okay. 1,010. Oh, well, that can't be right. Um, that didn't read right, so I think I, I misread that. Let me look again. Um, Amelia, uh, 1,010. Oh, one, 1,110. Sorry, 1,110. My bad. All right, let's go to 1,110. Um, that is going to say, so 1,110. One night alone and unnoticed, Amelia took off. Years after the war, strange as it may seem, she resurfaced ab abroad working as a corporate lawyer. Discard one vegetable, raw food, canned food from the storage. Remove this character from the game. Okay, well, we don't have any of those things to remove from the storage. That's actually what caused the problem. And then Amelia has left us. That is unfortunate. She was quite good. And so we have lost our first character in Amelia. She no longer comes into the game. We're back down to three people. 
let's then go to our um, evening phase then. Decide what people are going to do. So during the evening, oh and the dog, I got to roll for the dog. A four, okay, I think that means, I got to look him up, but I think that means he left, but she left too. Oh. Uh, so the, the group comes together to decide what they're going to do for the evening, only to realize that Amelia tried to raid the pantry, could not do it, and then fled. Okay, um, never to return to be a corporate lawyer after the war. Well, at least she survived. Good for her. Okay, now um, let's start with Boris, because he's going to be easy. This guy, he can go sleep in the bed, because we can't have him with just one action. So that's what he's going to do for the evening. Now we're going to have somebody guard. We've got to have somebody go forage. Pressingly, without, Amelia, without uh, Amelia around, this is going to be a little tougher for us. So Pavel is going to stay in and... Nope, sorry. Take it back. Pavel is going to be the one to go out and scavenge that night. Um, and then, uh, you know, I do have these two cards. One is Vigilant Watch, played during the night raid phase, lower the damage wounds. So we're probably... I got that in case we get in trouble. So I think um, Sveta is going to keep watch that night. She is a bit fatigued. She will get further fatigued, uh, it, but that's okay. Okay, uh, so um, on guard duty, we're going to raise the character's fatigue by one, so I just raised Sveta's fatigue up to two. That means she has only one action next turn, which is not good, considering we're down a whole character. And then also, I'm going to raise... Um, I'm going to give F uh, Pavel fatigue level one for going out to scavenge, so that really doesn't change any state for him. Okay, Let's, uh, I think that's going to end. Yeah, so we're on guard duty. We're sleeping on the floor. Now we're going to go to the scavenging phase. Now, again, I want to remind everybody that this would be passing around the players. And I just want to keep saying that so you know the flow of the game. Playing the solo, it seems like I'm just doing everything. But that, the way the game works is really interesting in this mechanics. And you haven't watched it before. Um, the, the players don't control the individual characters. They control the game itself. And each player takes a certain turn. So here we are. We are going out to... Um, scavenge. Now I think that we are going to have uh, Pavel. We need food. We need food badly. Um, and I think that the best place to get food is the quiet house. It, now we don't get as many cards, but if you look at the quiet house it has uh, the possibility of canned food and vegetables. So I think we're going to go there even though it doesn't give us as many um, things. It gives it only ten cards, but we're gonna we're gonna draw ten cards out from the exploration deck, and Pavel is going to go foraging. Now I like it better. I one one time I'd love it if Boris and Pavel went out together. They could do some serious damage on the scavenging. But now we got uh, we're gonna have Pavel coming back with one fatigue. If he goes out the next time, he'll be at two. That's okay. So maybe they go out the next night and see if we can really scrounge up up some food and water for everybody. Okay, so we're going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I really want to figure out how to get to um, our, uh, get our water going. i got to look that up. Okay, here is our first exploration card. Now, you know, we can sacrifice two exploration cards to actually look at a special event for the Quiet House. I'll show you that on the card. See right here on this card it says return to exploration cards to have a look around the area. See 45. We're not going to do that. We're going to go right in. We're not. We just need stuff. And Pavel's going to get in there. Okay. What do we got? Jam door map card. Check the current location. It does not have a jam door, so it says no. If there is no jam door, you may resolve this card immediately, or place it on the exploration slot and resolve it later instead. Okay. We can kick it in. Oh, it says resolve. After entering, add three cards from the exploration deck to the unknown deck. Draw and resolve one finding card, furniture slot, then discard the jam door. We're going to do that right now. So we're going to add one, two, three to here, and then we're going to pull a findings card and resolve furniture. So here we go. We're going to get herbs, mechanical parts, a weapon part, and a d10 roll. So there, let's uh, get the parts out. So there's the mechanical part. I'm going to put that in our findings. Um, the uh, We get uh, a weapon part. i got to get one of those out. And a couple of things. Herbs and yeah, and a D10. So let's roll a D10 and see what we get. Hopefully some food. A four? Of course not. We get... Well, we didn't get nothing. We got a book. <laughs> okay, well that's something. Okay, so actually what I had to do to satisfy the herbs was just put the herbs in the five pile. Uh, so I put one in the five pile, took the other ones out because I was uh, looking for tokens and it was out of them. 
uh, because we've got to move them to the fiver pile when we go collect enough to put them there. But we do get this book, which is going to go into... Um, um, I guess I'll, what I'll do is, is even though I know when I, if I bring it back, it'll be five, I'll put that here. Okay, uh, and then we got the D10 roll, we got the book, and then I need a mechanical... No, I got the mechanical part, I need a weapons part now. So let's get that out. And uh, weapons parts are... Okay, I got one coming right now here. Let's get that out and put it in our, our stuff. That was a pretty good start for Pavel, uh, because we also then get to... Um, we get to then discard the jam door, so that is gone. Uh, and this findings card, uh, afterwards, shuffle us back into the findings deck. So we're going to do that, okay, and see what we get. Now, uh, let's draw our next exploration card. This was good. R reality impact, something unexpected happens. Draw a card from the colors deck to determine the color script. Then draw from the exploration deck and check the number with the color. Find that number in the book of scripts. Okay, we will do that. And let me go get the, the colors cards. Uh, I do like this, that mechanic. It kind of randomizes the story. It's neat that way, but um, a lot of card shuffling. Okay, uh, let's pick one at random. Let's see what we get. We'll do this one, red. So we're going to pick red as our color, and here's our exploration card. We're going to pick entry 128 in the book of scripts. So let's see what happens to our character as he wanders through the quiet house looking for stuff. Okay, 128 is going to be... Okay, we stop for a bit and look through the window again. Something has changed in the scenery. Of course, it's still a little more than the burnt-out ruins of the city it once was. Dead, devoid of light, devoid of life, but still, many windows have had their protective wooden planks removed from them. Here and there, decorations have appeared, and there are wishes and petitions written on cards next to them. Someone has hung a garland of withered branches on the door. The red of the ribbons and the other decorations is clearly not the color of blood. Some people have been uh, brave enough to step out into the street and now stand in the cover of covered alleyway. Their singing, some, their singing comes toward us as if from behind some thick curtain but it still carries hope with it. Oh, it's the holiday season. Oh man, that's rough. Okay, back to the game. So, we got a little bit of a story element there. We're going to discard that, and we're going to continue on. All right, um, I think I saw something. Return as many exploration cards as you wish and roll the black die. Um, add the number of the re re returned exploration cards to the result. One to five, draw and resolve a residence card. Well, I'll add one. So that's going to go back to our our exploration deck. Um, I'll add one back in. That'll give us a plus one because that really that means I need to roll a four or better, which I, I don't tend to do, but we'll see. A seven, so we did not have a residence come up, so that's going to get discarded. We're going to keep going. Okay, closed door, map card. If there is a, there is a closed door, so it says if there is a closed door, it, uh, if there is a closed door, you may resolve this card immediately or place it on the exploration slot. Well, we could pick the lock. I did not bring lock picks. Or, um, pick the lock. Requires lock pick. Okay, well, we can't do it. So I guess this just goes away. We can't get in through the door. We're going to draw another one. Reality impact. Draw a card from the colors deck. Okay, we're going to do that again. Now, in this case, we're going to take the, the one from this location card. And we're going to place this under the location. Okay. Okay, what do we get? We get... Uh, red again? Okay, well, you saw me shuffle it. So red, it's going to be 596 in the book. I wonder if those color codings actually mean the difference between something good or bad. I don't know. It doesn't seem to. Uh, it just seems to be random. But 596 in the book. All right, here we are. We could hear the growling and loud chomping shortly before we saw the civilian's bodies. Ugh. The wild dog scattered the the, sorry, my book is creased. Hold on. The wild dog scattered the, the moment we entered the room. An execution had taken place here. A whole family had been laid out evenly. Their bodies spread out as if someone had used, used a ruler. Mom, dad, and two kids. In another room, an older man, probably their, their grandfather, had a kitchen knife plunged into his chest. They must have been about to eat dinner. The soup is still warm. We can't take the soup. We haven't got the right containers, but we can't eat it here. That's if anyone can actually sit and swallow anything in a room like this, surrounded by all the carnage. 
Roll a black die and compare it, to, compare it to the results with the empathy of each character present. As a result, uh, if the result is higher than the character's empathy, this character is able to eat or lower their hunger by one. Okay, so we found a dead family, but the soup is still warm. We're going to see if we can eat. Pavel's empathy is a six. We rolled a six, so uh, let me see. Did that say higher than? Oh, man, i got to look it up again. 596. Let's see. Did that... Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. If it is higher than the result. So he's not going to eat the food, unfortunately. It was equal to the result. So that reality impact goes away. We're going to draw our next exploration card. Someone's here. Raise the noise level by three. Okay, boom. Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. We weren't done with this. It says... Uh, afterwards, place this card under the location card. When the location card is removed from the game, shuffle the reality impact back in. Okay. So I will put that in the underneath the quiet house. I guess that limits how many of those can take place. So I did the someone's here and raised the noise level by three, but it doesn't say roll, so I didn't roll. Uh, search the heap. You may ignore this card or search the heap. Return two exploration, exploration cards and raise the noise level by one. Or raise the noise level by one and roll. We'll raise the noise level by one and we'll roll. Why the heck not? Let me go find the black die. Okay, here we go. An eight. Okay, an eight is good because we are at a four. So if we do that, we get to draw and resolve one card from the findings. And we get to look in the heap portion of it. So hopefully we get something really good. Let's see. Heap. Uh, we're going to get a book and two mechanical parts plus a die roll. Let's see what we get. Come on, something high. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. Um, a book and two mechanical parts. Well, the mechanical parts are useful, but uh, I don't know. Guys, I don't know how to get food in this stupid game. <laughs> it's really frustrating. I mean, I guess that's part of starving in a war-torn uh, country, but still. So, um, And I get a book. Yippee, we get another book. That's pretty exciting. We're going to read. Maybe we can... Can we eat the paper? Seriously. Because uh, I wouldn't care about finding a book in here to save my own life. And we're going to get to take them back. They don't weigh anything. They have a little bit of value. Put those components in. We're going to keep on going. Okay. Hiding place. Return to exploration cards. Um, ignore an encounter. How many do I have left? Nope. Not gonna, definitely not going to do that. Or, oh, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to ignore this. Keep going. Rubble. Okay. Map card. If there is no rubble, there is not. If there is no rubble, discard this card and draw a new card. Okay. We don't get that one. Uh, basement entrance. It does not. It does have a basement basement entrance. If there is a basement entrance, discard this card and draw a new card from the exploration deck. Oh, if there is, no, sorry, there is one. You may resolve this card immediately. Place it on the exploration slot. So I'll do that. But let's read it first. Enter. Raise the noise level by three and roll for noise. That'll put us up to um, seven. All right. I, oh, you know what? Someone told me that when you roll for noise, you actually reduce it after that. So I guess we'd be uh, at three. I gotta look that up. But that, that would make more sense, because otherwise you just peg it out right away. Um, after entering, add five cards from the exploration deck to the unknown. But let's roll for our noise. A one. We are definitely going to draw a residence card from the residence deck. So let's see what we get. Okay. Determine the number of survivors. A uh, three. So we are going to have two survivors and draw their tokens. I'll deal with that later if we need to. Place this card on the exploration slot. Um... Whenever you take anything from the pantry or furniture roll black die, you may also return one exploration card to talk or trade. I think what we're going to do with them right now is I'm going to return one exploration card to talk or trade with them now because um, I don't want to deal with that. And then we've got to add five cards. Um, actually, we would have added this first already. One, two... No, we actually wouldn't. We haven't done that yet. So I would have discarded this one. So that one's going to go back. Two, three... That's one, two, three, four, and five. So we got five more exploration cards in the basement. But we're going to talk to these guys right away. Um, so I did the first part. I returned a card, and we're going to trade 723. Because I have some stuff to trade in here. I got these books and these weapon parts, and I want food. Hopefully, we can get it. 723. Let's see. Come on, Pavel, have some good luck. 723. You may buy any of these tokens. Red, ammo, shells, weapon, yellow, bandages, med, uh, meds, herbs, chems. See the trade sheet. Okay. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Let me look at the trade sheet. That's such a drag. Okay. Um, 
The trade sheet on the card is what? And wait a minute, I can never remember where to find that trade sheet. It says trading is an action available. Okay. Below the trade, you must pay the trade commission first. It means you discard the number of tokens. Okay. Uh, findings pile. Okay. i got to figure out where that is again. Okay, the trade commission is one, so I could give up like one of these books or something. And what I want to trade for, they really don't have any of I want to trade for food, for God's sakes. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. Um, I can trade for chemicals and med crap and things I don't really need. I mean, I got, I already have uh, herbs up, up the, you know what, I got uh, bandages, I, you know. I just don't see any value in trading for those things. Let me see. I can trade ammo, shells, weapon parts, broken pistol, yellow. I can do bandages, meds, herbal meds, herbs, and chems. Well, I guess the herbal meds will help with um, Pavel's illness. Let me see what the value of herbal meds are. So herbal meds are a value of six. Okay, so, I, so basically to get one herbal med or meds, I can just get meds. They're value of ten, but I think I get the herbal meds. They're a value of six. Here they are right here. So I, I would have to pay seven in things, and these things are valuable. I mean, um, I guess I don't need more weapon parts right now. I can't really build anything with them, but the electrical parts probably have some value. But that's only... So right now, because of this, um, I don't have anything worth worthy there either. I just... I, I mean, I, I'd have to trade a book and both electrical parts to get these herbal meds. Uh... I guess I'll do that. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, there, I'm going to trade all that in, trade with them, and get the herbal meds. Okay, and that is going to resolve that survivor card. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is going to get discarded. We're going to draw our next exploration. Let me think about this before I commit to that. Okay, I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that and see what that brings us. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, continue to search the basement. All right. Um, oh, wait. I get to I got to draw a furniture card, didn't I? Oh, I did that. No, no, I didn't. One of the survivors, I got rid of them. Oh, I got rid of them before I drew another card. So if I did, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, search the heap. You may ignore this card. Search the heap. Return to. We're going to raise the noise by one. I'm going with the theory that we reset it, but um, two. So I am going to deal with another visitor. That's just fantastic. Let me uh, draw another one out. What is it? Okay, um, let me shuffle them up again. Hold on. Let's see, what we get okay. We get civilians. Okay, let's see. What we get. Turns out there are miserable-looking people hiding in here. Most elderly women um, and children. Place this card on the exploration slot until you leave this location. Whenever you take anything from the exploration card, mark private. Roll the black die and compare the results to the chart below. Uh, each character, for each character present, a result equal to or less than the character's empathy raises their misery by one. Okay, so if I steal their stuff, it's going to raise my misery. But this is not one of those cases. So we're going to take that back. We're going to get to draw a new findings card and go to the heap. The heap never has any food in it, though. That kind of sucks. Okay, so we're going to get uh, electrical part, chems. Come on, roll the good... A nine! Okay, what do we get in a nine in the house? Let's see, a nine. Meds. <laughs> okay. Well, at least meds have a lot of value. So we're going to get uh, some chemicals, electrical parts. Let's start piling this stuff up. I did just remove uh, electrical parts. Um, chems. I'm going to have to pull some chems out. Cigarette. Okay, hold on. Okay, I added the chems, the, the cigarettes, and the electrical parts. I also added the meds that we rolled for. And that's going to end that card. So that was pretty good. Now let's see what else happens to us here. Uh, search the pan oh, the pantry. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Well, we're going to do it. Um, raise, return two exploration cards or raise the noise level by one and roll. We're going to do that. We're going to raise the noise level and roll. A one. Of course, we're going to draw another resonant card, so we're running into everybody. Uh, reality impact. Something unexpected has happened. Draw a card from the colors deck and determine the color of the script. Reveal the top card of the residence deck. Okay. Let's uh, determine another color. We're going to put the red one back in and shuffle them up. And see what we get. We're going to come back with a lot of stuff, at least. Gray. Seems like red and gray, even though it's evenly distributed, they're coming up a lot. So we're going to draw the residence card. We're going to look at gray. 
So that's going to be 557. Or, sorry, 577. So let's take a look at 577 and see what happens to us as we make tons of noise walking through this building. All right. Someone peeks inside the room but is, is, but is ready to flee at once. It's a little girl. Seeing that we mean her no harm, she cheers up quickly. Supposedly, you can see it in the child's face if they're... Hold on. Sorry. Supposedly, you can see in a child's face if they, they'll be beautiful as an adult. This one surely would if it wasn't for a huge scar running from shrapnel on her cheek. Uh, the scar stretches across her face where otherwise there'd be an eye. On top of that, she also only has a stub where her right leg used to be. The girl, her, the girl keeps herself upright with, a wooden, with wooden crutches. She smiles radiantly and, t and talks to us like she looks, she's looking for something to talk about. It's so unusual to meet someone out here. Mom tells us to hide all the time because it's so dangerous. People are so bad. But you seem so nice. Can I stay here with you for a bit? It's so beautiful. There's so much snow. Like a Christmas a long time ago. And so she stays with us for a while, limping around and smiling. We're lucky to share in her simple joy of being alive. Roll the black die and compare it to empathy. Each character, as a result, gets to lower... Uh, if, if they roll equal to or lower, they get to lower their misery by one. Okay, let's see if he does. Well, I rolled a one, which is fantastic. So, um... Pavel's misery is gone. The girl cheered him up. And then we go back to the game where we're going to create some more misery probably by trying to steal her food. <laughs> so maybe we're not stealing her food. I'm going to say we're not stealing her food. But we are going to do this now. So, because um, it was private. So now we're dealing with the civilians. Okay. So we're going to roll here. And if we roll less than our empathy, we're going to raise our misery by one. We didn't actually. So we, we just said, no, nah, heck with this. We're so desperate for food that we have to do that but that card stays out in the uh, that civilian cards does stay out however we do get to draw a pantry card so let's see what we get okay let's go to here pantry vegetables sugar cigarettes and a d10 roll come on d10 a nine a nine is going to be meds god jesus almighty <laughs> sorry i need more meds like i need a hole in the head we only got one level of illness, no injuries. I don't need any more meds. But we're going to get there. At least there, there's a value to them. <clears throat> so if I do get to trade again, I can trade meds for stuff. Okay. All right. Well, uh, and then we also get, we do get some food. We get some vegetables. That's always helpful, right? So there's some vegetables. We're definitely taking those back with us. Um, more cigarettes and sugar. So where's uh, sugar... Oh, well, I'll find some sugar and another cigarette. We're like, I wish we could uh, eat the cigarettes and the sugar directly. Okay, there's that. But we got, man, we got a lot of money worth of meds. So that's interesting. Okay, and then we discard this card. That is it for the pantry. Bummer. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm putting these in the wrong place. They go into our, our, back into our findings deck. That is really not cool, man. Okay, so we search the pantry. Now we're going to keep going. What else do we get? Oh, search for furniture. This is private, too. What are we down to? I think I'm going to return two cards because I'm tired of rolling noise. So we return two cards. We're going to search for furniture now. But I have to roll a d10 for our misery. I rolled an 8. So we actually get our misery token back because we got rid of it. But we get it back now. And then we're going to, we're going to draw again from the findings deck. And we're going to see what kind of stuff we get. This has been a really good exploration for Pavel. He's coming back with his backpack full of stuff, just not food. Let's see what we get for furniture. Okay, furniture. We're going to get a knife, shell, a cigarette, and a D10. Come on. An 8. Tell me 8. Oh, vegetables. Awesome, awesome. So we're going to get some more vegetables out of this. That is really good because that's two, two things of food to eat, at least. Uh, and then we're going to get a knife, a shell, and some cigarettes. So let me get that out and uh, get those in, in our heat, our pile. Okay, there's our knife, our shell, and our cigarettes going into our pile. We'll come back with a lot of stuff. That is good. And then this goes away. So we're going to put that back. Good for the pantry. We've been stealing from these poor civilians. Let's see what else we get. Stairs up. Look for another way out. Return two exploration cards or enter. Raise the noise level. I only have one more, so I can I return it and just go, or do I have to? I guess I have to raise the noise level by two. We'll do that and roll a five. So we are going to talk to some residents. 
Let's see who they are. They're probably going to be somebody unpleasant with us. I think we're about to leave, though. We only got one card left and too much stuff, unless I can trade. Uh, survivors. Okay. Um, let's roll. See what, what how many survivors are. Ten. Oh, my gosh. There are four survivors there. So we're definitely, we definitely don't want to hassle with these guys. So uh, if we find anything with pantry or furniture, they're going to hassle with us. But what we are going to do is trade with them because we got a lot to trade. And maybe, just maybe, we can trade for food. So this one's going to be 638. If we are tra oh, trading, I'm sorry, 723 for trading on this one. So uh, we're going to just trade with these survivors. Oh, let's hope we get something good. Nope, 723, we've been through that one before. It's garbage. What we can do... Well, I mean, it's really garbage. It's just not worth it. We could trade for some ammo, I suppose, or something. Um, yeah, okay, well, we, we had the stuff to trade with them, but we decided not to. Okay, and then we're going to draw our last exploration card. The door, peek through the co car, the hole, or, okay, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to end our exploration, so right there. So we're going to draw a color card and see what where that takes us. Okay, let's see where we go. Well, I'm going to... Shuffle these up, see what we get. Come on, let's get some different gray. Okay, gray and red, those are our colors, no matter how many times I shuffle them. So we're going to go to 153 and see what happens. Hopefully we get back okay. You always got to worry about these things. Sometimes they, they come back and bite you. But 153, let's see. We hear a noise of a heated argument coming from outside. You're not leaving, I won't allow it. We see a sturdy man grab a woman who tried to run down the stairs. He forcefully drags her inside the apartment. It's safe for my mother. Let's go. Let me go. The woman breaks free and makes it, makes it down the stairs this time, her suitcase only half shut. I said you're staying. The angry man catches up with her halfway down the stairs and rips the luggage from her hands. The woman sighs as she gives up and follows a, and, and following a scuffle, she goes back upstairs. We're about to step away from the window, and then we notice something on the stairs. Looks like something shiny fell out of the woman's suitcase. Whatever it is, it's hardly worth the effort. Let's see what's so shiny. Uh, I don't have an exploration card. So we can't do it. We can't return an exploration card. So we leave it alone and go on our way. And that is our exploration. Now let's go talk about our stuff. So we are returning with the knife for sure. That is one, um, two, three, four. I'm pulling all the things out that have a weight. Well, there's the good news. Uh, he's got a... Inventory of four. We got four things that have a value of four, so we're going to take all those back. None of these have a weight value, so we're taking all of this stuff back. We are loaded for bear. We're going to definitely have to try and find some people to trade with in the next turn so we can continue to get some more food and water into our storage. We got a lot of stuff, guys. He had a very successful outing uh, into the uh, to the lands. Now that we are done... With that, let us move on. We finished the scavenging. Everybody's done their stuff. Um, we got, let me see, we got Pavel. Let me get everybody's stuff here. Um, Boris is now no longer fatigued at all because that took him down two levels. So, um, so we're going to finish our night phase, or we're going to finish our, uh, sorry, our scavenging phase and our evening phase. Okay, so next we're going to go to scavenging. We're going to, no, sorry, we, we did that. We're going to go, and we did our findings. Now we're going to go to the night raid. Let's choose um, choose weapons for the guards. Well, we're going to choose the shotgun for our, our lady Sveta. Now, she doesn't have any skill at fighting. That's just too bad, but uh, it is what it is. And let's draw, let's shuffle these up and draw a card again. Haven't had any, haven't had to fight anybody. Of course, this will be the time, right, because I said something. Uh, reality Impact. Something unexpected happened. Draws a card from the man. We're not fighting anything. That's good. We then reveal the top card of the Night Raids deck. Okay, so we're going to check the colors again. Hopefully it won't be gray or red. Here's the gray one. We're going to put it back in and shuffle it up as best we can. Let's see. All right. You know what? <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Let's find another darn color. Okay. Green. Okay, we're going to do green this time green and then we're going to draw another uh, night raid card and go to the green one it's going to be ooh entry 20 what do you think that's going to be that can't be good can it so entry entry 20 in the night raid deck will be let's see okay there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this game this is crazy okay 
The silence was rent by the sound of broken glass, and a moment later we detected a burning smell. Seeing smoke billing from a room, we run there to find fire spreading terrifyingly fast. We can still have some equipment, but at great cost. Discard one crafted fitting. Place it back in the fitting deck or raise a character's wound level by one. Let me look. We got stuff. I might I might actually take the wound. I might take the wound. Let me take see what a wound does. I don't even know. Nobody's been wounded yet. Um, let's see. What, where's a wound? Wounds. You know what? We're going to take the wound. It's just going to knock us down one action. And we have so much stuff to cure that. We got meds. We got we got bandages. So um, Sveta went. She was on guard. She ran to put out the fire and took a wound. She's okay. All right. That ends the... Uh, actually, that's going to almost end. Let me just run through it. Prowse during... Okay, boarding up. Every built-up board. Subtract. We don't have to worry about that because we didn't have it. We did not draw... Let me see. In either of those, we did not draw the crime wave. Okay. So, uh, again, we go on to our dawn phase. The scavenging party returns. So we, we've done that. Uh, assign meds and bandages. If there are meds and bandages in the stores, you may assign them to the ill uh, and wounded by placing them on the chosen character card. Well, we're definitely going to assign... Um, we'll assign uh, uh, bandages to Sveta. I don't, know, I don't know what bandages do. I think we'll do herbal... Um, we're going to assign herbal meds to uh, Pavel, and I guess we'll assign bandages to Sveta. See where we go from there. Okay, and then it says uh, draw fate cards. So we're going to do that. Let's see what happens with our fate. Okay, our fate card at the end of the turn. What what happens? Uh, raise the illness level of an ill character by one who did not take meds. Well, good news is um, we did take meds. Heal the wounds of all characters who took bandages. So the wound that Sveta took, the burns, she bandaged them up and it went away. So that is gone for her. Okay, discard bandage tokens from all characters. So um, Pavel's on meds. I guess it doesn't heal, doesn't get better, but it doesn't get worse. Okay, if cold tokens minus board tokens equal five, uh, one, two, three, we have one boarded up token, so it equals four or more. Uh, raise the illness level of character so it doesn't, just barely, just barely. Exchange the nearest medium location if there is none. Um, if there is none, exchange the nearest large location. There is a medium location. It is the um, the warehouse. So the warehouse is going to go away. We're going to move the quiet house down. This, is, this card is going back in the findings deck. And uh, we're going to draw a new location. And the new location is the construction site. There's some vegetables there. That's good. Okay. That's going to go on the far location. All right. That. Uh, Got to put that one card back in the findings deck. Got that. Okay. Resolve weight tokens. Oh, well, there you go. That's when you resolve weight tokens. But we didn't have any because we didn't have enough actions. So we're going to have no water again. Bad news. All right. Resolve spirit A on all character cards. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, Spirit A. Okay, for Pavel, he doesn't have one. No effect. If Boris is fatigued, level 2. Race is miserable by 1. He's not. He's not fatigued at all because he slept through the night. And then A, for Sveta, if any character in the group is hungry, level 3. Race of Sveta's misery by 1. Well, we did have somebody who was hungry, level 3, but she left. So, no effect there. And this is afterwards, shuffle this card back into the Fate deck. So, we're done with our Fate card. Okay, and then we draw... So I'll put that in there. We'll shuffle all the fate cards again. All right. Then we draw two narrative action cards, and we get to pick one. What do we get? Rumors. Take a look at the top card of the two falling decks. Events, visitors, eh, resourceful. Play when crafting any fitting. Ignore the requirements for one of the resources. Oh, I'll definitely take that. Okay. And then we'll put the other one on the bottom of the deck for now. Okay, that is going to be the end of our um, night phase. So then we go to the save. It's called save. We don't, we're not doing that, though, because I'm leaving it out to play. And then that will take us to the end of the round. Guys, made another great session of the, the, this game. Quite a long one, as usual. We've got tons and tons of stuff. Check this out. Our pantry, or our storage area, is massively full. And i got five herbs in here. In fact, i got to take... No, I already did. I took them out. Oh, no, there's one. There's actually there's five herbs total. And then I, I also think I have enough sugar. I should probably take... There's sugar. Uh, there's our vegetables, our one food that we got. <laughs> well, we got two. We have uh, 
we had two food that we brought back with us, if I'm not mistaken, but I only see one. Maybe it was only one. I thought it was two. Um, electrical parts, weapon parts, ammo, food, cigarette, tons of cigarettes. We're cigarette heavy, and that's that. Okay, so um, I thought that we had, we're supposed to bring back some vegetables. Oh, here, not. We had vegetables and something else. I thought we were supposed to bring back something else, but I did need another vegetables, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't get it out. There were supposed to be two. So I'm going to find another one of those because I remember saying specifically we had two, and here we are. I forgot to bring it back to the place. There we go. So we're going to have, be able to eat. At least a couple people are going to be able to eat next turn. We'll see how that goes. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm sure I'm making some. There's so much going on in this game. If I did make some mistakes, I'm sorry. Um, that's the, the life life in the big city on this game, I think. But anyway, guys, thanks again. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the comments, all the all the help. That's great. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate all that you do in, in interacting with me in this channel. So take care, guys. I'll talk to you next time.